Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you actually did what you wanted to do, leave early. Um, we did even better than that. We, we, <laughs> we left last night. Come on. We left last night. We drove until midnight and then parked in a Sam's Club parking lot, which is designated as RV parking and like tractor trailer parking. Um, we got there just after midnight and we stayed connected to the truck and we just popped the slide out the tiniest bit so we could get in. We slept, we woke up at seven and we went grocery shopping right there. Um, and now we're on the road and we're already, we only have two hours to go. Wow, well that was a good move. Yeah, I mean it was, they say driving at night is, is risky, right? Because it, it can be dangerous because um, that's when animals are out. And But we knew that our route was highway, all highway. Um, and so yep. getting from the campground to the highway, we were very cautious and aware. And we did see deer. Like there was a, port, a section where it's like plenty of deer. There's like a ton of deer on the side of the highway. And it's like, oh my goodness, at least we're on the highway, you know? Yeah. Um, but we made it without any issues without any issues we parked the biggest issue was finding a level spot in the parking lot where we weren't like totally oh. up crooked or sleeping upside down <laughs> um, okay, what's up? good how are you good. Last name for martinez martinez yes sir first name jonathan Been here before? No, no sir. You haven't. All right. Well, welcome camping on the golf. What's going to happen is we're going to get you down to your site. Right now, you're sitting at the bottom of the page here. Yep. And pretty much as far as you can see, just a little bit over that hill. You're going to pull through, set up, okay. relax. But then you're going to keep on walking right over the hill. Once you've done that, there's an office in our activity <laughs> center, which is just out of sight on the other side of the pool. Okay. And you can check in and get done there, and then you're ready to rock and roll after that. Perfect. 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 All right. All right. Appreciate Thank your help, you so sir. Much. Thank yep. you very much. You guys have a good day. You as well. <laughs> Take care. Yep, y'all go. Thank you. So we're at Camp Golf and they have laundry room, bathhouse, and a pet wash right next to us. You can probably hear Lucas in the background. Laundry's pretty cool, but here's the bath, pet wash. How was it, buddy? It was easy. Great. This thing is amazing. You want to do it again? You want to show us how it worked? Yeah. Turn this on. Water comes out. He hates it. It's quick. It's easy. <laughs> down. Am I grabbing his leash? Are you going to carry him the whole way? All right, let's go. Check out these showers. Some fancy campground showers here. Hey. It is a beautiful day here. Camp Gulf, Destin, Florida. Can also be Miramar Beach, Florida. I think it's right in the middle. Uh, the address here is actual Miramar Beach. Um, the weather dipped down this week, but today the high is 64, 65. I tell you, that might seem cold when you're from Fort Lauderdale and the norm is 80 degrees, but when the sun's shining like this, 
it's hot. Um, but we do have all the windows open. The trailer got the breeze going through. It's very nice. Uh, today we got mail, which was nice. It was a good location to uh, do Amazon packages, get some videos from our parents. I mean, some packages from our parents. Because that's where our mail is going out right now. That's our actual address. Is still down in Fort Lauderdale. So, it's nice that they're doing that for us. How you doing? Good. Community here is great. The, uh, has a vacation community feel. A lot of people stay here long term. This place is busy. Has over 200 sites. Um, but it is, it's nice. It's nice. The closer you get to the beach, the better it is, I think. Um, all the beach sites, though, you can't have a pet. So, that's unfortunate for us, but it's okay. They also don't have sewer, which means somebody has to, some company goes out there and pumps your sewer out of your trailer. And you have to schedule it. That's just a lot of work um, just to be on the beach. So I think if you were only there for a couple of days, it's beautiful, it's nice, a long weekend maybe, but if you're there for a week or longer, it's not worth it. So too much scheduling to do, although it is beautiful to be right there on the beach, wake up with the water. If you have windows that face the right way, that's nice. Um, luckily, uh, we're, we got this weekend. Um, I think somebody canceled, so we were able to book this. Um, so we were able to take a stop here before we head to New Orleans next week. Really excited about that. Uh, we got Halloween next week. So I think that's gonna be the perfect place to celebrate Halloween. Not that we are big Halloween costume people, but we'll do our best and show Derek around New Orleans as he's never been. Um, that's all right. All right, guys, well, catch you in a bit. Bye. ridiculous thing are you about to say? I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs>
room temperature. What kind of like a refrigerator room? It's warmer than the air? Is it warmer than the air? Oh, really? Then why aren't people in it? I'll take your word for it. Oh, yeah. When you get out, yeah. site so it was very nice um, but there are definitely nicer sites there um, oh yeah they have sites right on the beach where they don't allow dogs um, don't allow dogs and don't have sewer connection don't but, have sewer but they are right on the beach but also right next to each other like slide to slide yes if you open up your blinds and your slide you are you are literally you, you can see them eating you can smell their food yeah it's very tight and um, I'm glad we got to see that because at first I was like, oh no, like I would have loved to have a site like that. But then, mm, too, and, and not not just much. the congestion, but there's so much traffic. Everybody's and walking around, by. And that's the, the the destination. No matter all all the people who are staying in the park, it's like that's the place to go to watch the sunset throughout the day. A lot of noise, a lot of traffic, a lot of vehicles. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to put that up. We'll have to put that. Chukabuka. Can you look it up really fast on your phone so we don't forget it? Um, <laughs> so, the the site was great. The camping on the Gulf was great. Um, the beach is amazing. We went, it was October, right in the end of October. Um, and the weather was was great um then we had a cold front come through where there was a high of 69 or something but the low at night dropped down to 47 
some nights it was in the 50s so it was it was a little cold um it was the first time we've, it's gotten that cold with us so we had to turn our little fireplace on which is electric heat uh perfect for us it was great yeah um, we also have propane but we decided it, not to use the propane electric is fine if we're connected yeah we want to test the propane like maybe while we're awake and moving around and, yeah but the um, the facilities at this campground were amazing the showers you had a private uh like shower toilet dressing area with a, um, a glass shower with like an overhead rainfall shower, shower head, head in every single one really nice it was really we nice we didn't shower in our rig ones the whole week yeah we, we used their facilities because they're so much nicer and to have that that much hot water at once is great um and then some camping world yeah the laundry facilities all all new um all new machines, so it's really nice. Uh, you can pay pay your laundry with an app, which I love because you don't have to have quarters on you. Pay with an app, you can track the time. They give you free five dollars for using the app, which was awesome. Um, yeah, you can track the time. It tells you when it's done, so you don't have to sit there in front of the machine. You can see how many machines are open before you go. We did it twice. We did um, laundry twice because we it was took so care convenient. of it. Slow it down. Destin this morning, it was probably in the low 60s. It was 50, 50 something when we first woke up. And that's when we checked all our tire pressure and filled up to max cold, which for our trailer tires is 65, right? Yes. Uh, and I think now that we've been driving, obviously they've, heat, they've warmed up because we're driving, but also the temperature has gone up a lot at 75 now. to the right next rest area. Yeah, I'll just pull it off. There's a racetrack here. Oh, I'll just get off here. The racetrack's usually bigger. Safety. All right, back on the road. Where do we leave off? We were describing Destin. So what did we do while we were in Destin? We went to the beach itself. The beach is beautiful. Is beautiful. One day we went to Brayton's Beach State Park. Brayton Beach State Park, also beautiful. That one was really nice. They really have nice. like sand dunes that they're preserving. It reminds me of Cape Cod a little bit. Oh, it's so nice. Really nice area. We drove down a road called 30, it's Highway 30, County Highway 38, I think. Oh yeah, 30 30 a. a. The locals, the locals just, you know, talk about it as 30A. Um, it took us a second to figure out what it was. So it's just one little highway strip that it looks like it's all brand new development with last couple of years um really really nice homes neighborhoods condos little shops they have like little 
the little town center area. Yeah, I'm um, trying to find it on here, but it's it was really, really nice. It's it's zoo. Santa Rosa Beach area. Um, Santa Rosa Beach, yes, that's the area. Gorgeous. It's just east of Destin, between Panama City Beach and Destin. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous area. Really nice, really nice home zoo. Highly recommend it. So now we're headed to Bayou Signet State Park. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Probably. But right outside of New Orleans, right north of New Orleans. Very excited. So what are your primary goals, expectations in New Orleans? What are you excited about? I'm excited about taking you down Bourbon Street, since you've never been to New Orleans. Um, Canal Street. I mean, it's a lot of walking. So those, those, it's just, you feel like you're in a different country when you're there. Um, oh, cool. It's really cool. The, the bar settings, I mean, it gets crazy in the party times, but um, I, I can expect that with Halloween coming up, where all the bars are out there. there there's definitely a party scene, and then there's the historical side of it with uh, all the cemeteries, all the, all the kind of, What's it called? The spooky stuff, the Ooh. haunted, haunted stuff. Yeah, I want to, I want to lean into that a little bit. I'm interested in, since it is Halloween weekend. I'm interested in doing like a, a ghost tour, or maybe not a tour, but a haunted house or something like a legit, you know, dinner at a haunted house. Sometimes they have Ooh. like stuff like that. I don't know about that. Like a ghost butters your bread or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> We're in Louisiana. So the thing I'm most excited about in Louisiana. The food. So I found this website that lists all like the <coughs> the food specialties in New Orleans. Restaurants will often offer savory stuffed vignettes that may be garnished with powdered sugar, but may also be accompanied by jellies and sauces meant to highlight the stuffed flavor. 10, chicory coffee. Coffee has a long tradition in New Orleans. The port became a major distribution center for Central and South American coffee. As a result, New Orleans has served as a source for not only imported coffee, but roasted and grinding as well. The people of New Orleans have long enjoyed French style cafe au lait and coffee shops have been a staple of the French Quarter since the 19th century. Chicory, the ground root of the Belgian endive, yuck, was frequently served as a coffee substitute and was blended into the coffee before brewing. New Orleans have retained their taste for chicory coffee, and this is New Orleans-style coffee. Cafe and chicory with warmed or steamed milk. I'll try that. It's like the True Lies French. It's not. Yeah, True Lies. You don't remember the movie True Lies? Um, I remember the movie. I don't remember the specific film. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. That's, that's Jamie true. Lee Curtis. Yes, 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 yes. Driving over the bridge, the helicopter it blows up. That was the old entertainment movie. It's not this movie. It was in Key West, but it looks. Like... Oh, so shame bridge? on you! Yeah, shame on you for not knowing. True Lies. Shame. Shame on you for being old. <laughs> Remembering pointless facts. It's a great movie. I'll be pointless about it. There's a movie they can do a, a sequel to. Forty years later. I'd watch that. We're here. Okay. Let's go here. To the left. Okay. No, because this is this is what we're facing. Okay. This is this road. We're gonna take a left. <laughs> we're gonna go up and then that way. Although I think we need to go all the way around because our sight angles towards the road. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Got turn it. it that way because that that makes more sense. <laughs> well, for a camera. Okay. City of West we go. 
West we go. West we go. West we go. Interesting. Is this your, your recording technique? Yeah, it's working. I think the final product is going to be tap that. Luckily, there's like balance mode or some crap. Looks good for my angle. Stop, 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 stop. You don't need to go much farther. 